Mm-hmm. Okay. So you go adding and subtracting with that. So we're going to do an example here. Let's say we have numbers 2 over 3, and we have to add 4 over 5 to it. Okay. First thing we have to do is we have to get a common denominator. <coughs> okay. So we'll look for common denominators. One thing we can do is we'll do it in blue, okay? Um, we're going to write the multiples of both of the numbers, okay? Mm -hmm. So we have numbers 3 and 5, mm -hmm. and we're going to go through their multiples. Mm -hmm. So we're multiplying by 1, 2, 3, and 4. Mm -hmm. We'll do 3 by 1, we get 3. 3 by 2 mm -hmm. is 6. And then we're going to multiply, right? 3 by 3 is 9. 5 by 4 is 12. Same idea with the number 5. 5 by 1 is 5. 5 by 2 is 23. 14. And 25. Okay. Okay. So, now we have to find a common multiple. Do you see any common multiples at all? Yeah, okay. So, number 15 is a common multiple. So, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be changing both of those fractions. Okay. To change both fractions. The denominator is going to have to be 15 at the bottom for both. And we know that. Okay? But what's key here is we have to figure out what we multiplied by to make it 15. So the first one, we changed the number 3 into 15. So what did I multiply by to get to 15? 3 times 5. That's right. So we did 3 times 5. So in other words, we multiplied the bottom of this fraction by 5. We multiplied this 3 by 5. So we have to multiply the top by 5. What would 2 times 5 be? 10. So our first new fraction is 10 over 15. Now, same idea for our 5. We multiplied by 3 to get 15, right? We multiplied that by 3 to get 15. So we multiplied the bottom of this fraction by 3. We have to multiply the top by 3. So when we multiply it, 4 by 3, what do we get? So our two fractions, we write them again up top here, just so we have two numbers, is we have 10 over 15 plus 12 over 15. Now we just add across. Our denominator, our answer is still going to be the same. It'll still be 15. 10 plus 12 is 22. And that's it. That would be our answer, 22 over 15. The exact same rules apply to subtraction. Okay, so what if we have a question like this? A couple ways we can solve this. One of the ways is making these improper fractions. Okay, right now they're both mixed fractions. A mixed fraction is when you have a whole number and then a fraction beside it, which we have here. We have a whole number and a fraction beside it. So making it an improper fraction, I'll do that on the side here. Make my side calculation. Okay, to make it an improper fraction, we'll do it that way. We have the number five and a third. Now, what we need to do is we're going to put a new number on top. We've got to figure out what that number is going to be. Okay. So what I need to do is multiply the whole number by the denominator. Okay. So 5 times 3 is going to be what? 15. Then I take that number and I have to add it to the numerator by 15. So 1 plus 15 is 16. So our new number on top is 16, and we keep the same denominator from before, 16 over 3. Okay, so our new fraction we're going to have is 16 over 3. And then for our other fraction, same idea. Okay. We have 2 and 2 over 5. What's the first thing I have to do? 2 and 8 will be 0. Okay, just go ahead, uh, Anna. I'm sorry, what? 2 times 5. That's right. So we do 2 times 5, we multiply those two, so 2 times 5 will give us, and then what's the next step? 2 plus 10. That's right, we add it to the numerator. So 2 plus 10 equals 10. Okay. So what's our new fraction? 12 over 5. Okay, 12 over 5 is our new fraction. So we'll put it over here. Subtract, we keep the same sign, our sign, 12 over 5. 
now, what's the next step? What do I need to do? And then it changes back to that. And then you have to use the mean to get rid of the error. Okay. So you have to find the common denominator. Yeah. So that common denominator, uh, we'll write out the multiples of these two. We have two numbers that have three and five. <coughs> we actually did this right on the other page, didn't we? <coughs> what is the common denominator going to be? Do you know? That's right. Fifteen, that's right. We're going to be multiplying three by five, which will give us fifteen. That's one set. And three and three by five, which will give us fifteen again. Plus four factors that way. We have sixteen over three minus twelve over five. Now we know that our new common denominators are both going to be fifteen. So I multiplied three by five to get fifteen. So I essentially multiplied by five. What we'll have to multiply sixteen by to get our new fraction. Yeah, that's right. We can multiply the same number. So we have sixteen times five, eighty. So that's our new number on top. Number eighty. Okay. Now the same idea. We multiply five by three to get fifteen. We multiply this five by three. I have to multiply twelve by what number? So 12 12 12 times 3 will give us 36. So our new fraction is 36 over 15. So when we add the two together, it's cleaned it up a little. We don't have to subtract each side. So we're looking for 80 okay, over done. 15. Subtract 36 over 15. We know our answer is still going to be over 15, right? We just have to subtract the two. So we get 80 subtract 36 equals 44. So our final answer is 44 over 15. Okay. So now we're doing multiplying and factoring. And it's actually much easier than adding and subtracting. Our rule says when multiplying, you multiply the numerators by each other and the denominators are by each other. So I'm just going to color code this for us, okay? So same question. Our numerators are the number on top. We're going to do numerators. And we're going to do 10. Okay. 4x2 times what? So 4 and 2, those are our numerators. 4x2. And denominator. Denominators are 9 and 5. Okay, So we actually just have to multiply our numerators by each other and our denominators by each other. So it's pretty straightforward. 4 by 2 is going to give us 8. Yep, now 9 by 5. Is 6 take away 3 3? So we multiply numerators by each other. We got 8. Denominators 9 by 5 is 45. And that's our answer. Or we have 45. Now if we had a mixed fraction... We have to go back and do what we did on our other page. So remember, we made uh, improper fractions. We have to do that and then apply our multiplying rule. Okay. Okay. So we're going to do the same question, but this time we're going to divide the two numbers, okay? So it's this time we have 4 over 9 divided by 3 over 5. Okay. Now, from our rule over here, it says dividing. Flip the second fraction and make it a multiplication fraction. And then that means after that we would just use multiplication again. Six, so our second fraction. Six. So our second fraction is this one, right? Yeah. Makes sense. This is number one. This is our second one. So what we're doing is we're going to flip six. this and then change this to a multiplication fraction. Okay, so I'll show you the change we made. Four over nine. We changed the division to a multiplication and we flipped that fraction to five over two. Okay. And now. Because we've written a multiplication question, we apply our multiplication rules. <coughs> we multiply the numerators and the denominators by each other. So 4 times 5 will give us 9 times 2. That's what it is. 4, or four over 5 divided by 5 over 2 is 20 over 8. Multiplication question? Yeah, it's a multiplication question. You just turn it into a multiplication question. So we 
a revision sign would turn to an application and you just look at that second line. Just keep that. Just do not click. Just the right, right. 